Another important use of AJAX is to make, well, AJAX is all designed to make life easier for the user, and this particular use of AJAX allows you to, allows the user to drag and drop data in their web page and have it automatically, their action automatically recorded on the server. The server can send back data to configure the web page. For example, you might want to allow the user just to grab a person's name, move it to another another text box, and record on the server what's happened. Here's a, here's a demonstration at openrico.org at this URL that you see here in the Internet Explorer. And you can, for example, select a person's name and drag it, as you see here, to the drop name list box. And that is that data is automatically sent to the server using AJAX techniques, and the server handles the process internally. For example, it might update a database on the server, sends back data back to the web application in the browser, and the person's name appears in the dropped name list in this example. You can do drop, drag and drop other people as well, like this. As you see, at the same time, updating what's going on in the server. This is very useful because instead of asking your users to retype the data in another text box or use buttons and so forth and go through page refreshes and so forth, you can just allow them to just drag and drop the information and as the information is dragged and dropped, it's automatically sent up to the server which processes that data sends back a response to the web application. The web application reconfigures its display to match what's, what happens on the server. And as you see here, the person's name appears in this dropped name list box, and the server is appraised of the fact that they are now in the dropped name list box and can keep track of that information. So it's another example of using AJAX because you can make life easier for the user, just dragging and dropping items. This is particularly useful, and AJAX is becoming particularly useful to handle shopping cart applications, and we're going to see this application example. We're going to develop it ourselves in this course, and the idea is you can allow the user to drag and drop items in a shopping cart very easily, and Rather than going through the multi-step process of checking out a item they want to purchase, for example, a book or a radio, or as you see in this example, a television, they might have to check out the television by adding it to a shopping cart, which generates a page refresh, and then going to the checkout and so forth and so forth and so on. A multi-step process that allows that that takes a lot of time and a lot of page refreshes and that can be somewhat annoying to today's users who are used to more immediate responses on the other hand if you allow them to simply drag an item to a shopping cart icon on your web page then they can simply add it to the to the shopping cart without having to go through the multi-step process that's customary today of adding the item and then you know returning to the shopping page to keep shopping. Here's how it works. You can, in this case, buy a television by dragging it to the shopping cart. So here's the television, and the user can simply drag this television into the shopping cart, and the fact that the television was dropped on the shopping cart is sent behind the scenes to the server. The code on the server sends back data, which in this case is you just bought a nice television. And that data in this case is just displayed, but you can keep track of the purchases a person makes in the shopping cart this way without asking them to go between, go to through a multi-stage process of having to check out items using a shopping cart. So as you see here, once again, you're able to drag the television to the shopping cart icon, and that the fact that it was dropped on the shopping cart icon is relayed to the server. The server processes that data, says this person is now having, now has a television in their shopping cart, and sends back text to the, or confirmation to the web application, which in this case is you just bought a nice television. That, that data is displayed. It doesn't have to be displayed. It can all be behind the scenes, but 
The idea here is it saves the user several steps when working with shopping carts. And that's one of the common uses of dragging and dropping data in using Ajax. You don't have to use a shopping cart, of course. You can free, you can do a free form application that just allows you, in this case, for example, the open Rico page to drag and drop people's names and to collect, to make form a collection of names as you see here. And that's also possible, but the idea is that you can use Ajax not only with buttons or with text fields, but also with drag and drop. It's becoming an increasingly popular way of using and working with Ajax.